Psalm chapter 37 verse 4 to 5 says, Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord, trust in Him, and He will act. This verse is often misinterpreted to mean that God will give us whatever we ask for. But what this verse actually means is that when we love God, our desires will change to become like His. We will begin to seek and desire godly things. When the love of God is truly in you, you will begin to have a burden for lost souls. You will begin to think about how you can do your part in the kingdom of God and help to spread the gospel. Having a godly desire means that you find yourself passionately seeking the Lord, because He can give you victory over evil. He can give you victory over sin. He can heal your family and unite your household. God will not deny us such things because they are near to His heart. Matthew chapter 5 verse 6 says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Jeremiah 29 verse 13 says, You will seek me and find me, when you seek me with all your heart. These words aren't just tentative, they are promises. No other pursuit on this earth comes with a guarantee. You may hunger for wealth but still end up poor. You may thirst for a spouse but still end up single. But when your true desire is for the one who offers the bread of life and living water, then your cup will overflow. And so I encourage you to meditate on the words of David in Psalm 27 verse 4. The Bible reads, One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek Him in His temple. If you could only ask one thing of the Lord, what would it be? For David, it was enough for him to be in the presence of his Lord and Saviour. He longed for the friendship and the favour of God above all riches and material possessions. David desired the joy of being in a relationship with God. Is that the same desire that you have? Proverbs chapter 23 verse 17 says, Let not your heart envy sinners, but continue in the fear of the Lord all the day. It can be hard to pursue Christ when the people around us have different desires. Some might desire to be successful or to have a wealthy lifestyle or even fame. But apart from Christ, all these desires lead to a dead end. And so I encourage you to pray for godly desires. Pray for a heart that wants to do the will of the Lord. Seek Jesus Christ with all your heart and you will find him. Now let us pray. Lord Jesus, there are many things in this life that we may consider important. There are many things that we devote our time and energy into, thinking that they will bring us happiness, but all of them are worthless when compared to you. There is nothing on this earth that's worth having, Lord, if you're not involved. Your word in Psalm 73 verse 25 says, Whom have I in heaven but you? And there is none on earth that I desire besides you. Father, every earthly desire that we have is insignificant and trivial in light of eternity. 
Help us King Jesus to have a desire to store up riches in heaven and not on this earth. All that is in this world is meaningless. So Lord Jesus we fix our eyes on you. We fix our eyes on your word. Let our passion be to follow your will. Teach us to love what you love. Teach us to value what you value. Transform our minds and realign our view of the world so that it matches yours. Lord Jesus, may the beauty of the gospel displace everything else in our hearts and move us into action. Remind us of the surpassing worth of Jesus Christ and let that knowledge drive us to declare and testify about your goodness. As humans, our natural desire is often to seek our own gratification. However, as believers, we say not our will, but your will be done. May you take all the glory. Father, I thank you for rescuing me from a path that was leading to hell. Lord Jesus, I thank you and I glorify you. Cultivate in me a heart that has a great love for you. May I be grieved by the idea of sin. I pray that you would eliminate any lingering craving for worldliness or sin in my heart. Make me hunger and thirst for the kingdom of God. I invite the Holy Spirit. I welcome the Holy Spirit to work in my heart and bring about a change. Bring about a new desire and a new passion for Christ within me. May Jesus Christ be exalted in my life and placed above every other thing. Search my heart, Lord, and tear down any idols. Expose every area of sin and disobedience in my life. Bring it to light, Lord, and remove it from my heart. Remove every ungodly and sinful desire within me and replace it with a holy and pure passion. A passion to do your will. A passion to preach your word. To make your name known to unbelievers to glorify your name. If I desire these things, I know that you will not deny me. Lord, help me not to envy the dead-end pursuit of unbelievers. They may have happiness for a time, but it won't satisfy them, because only you, Lord, can satisfy every longing need in the human heart. I pray that my desire would only be to serve Jesus Christ, to preach his gospel and to testify to the entire world about the goodness of my God. Change my desires, Lord. I thank you for hearing my prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.